Why don't we jump right into our first topic of the day, and that is, of course, Google's settlement over incognito mode. Google has agreed to settle a 2020 lawsuit alleging that the company continued to track, collect, and identify users browsing data in real time while they had Chrome's incognito mode enabled. This was obviously a big splash back when it first came out a few years ago. Uh, Google has tried since then to have the suit dismissed, citing a warning that they displayed whenever incognito mode was enabled that informed users that websites might be able to collect information about your browsing activity during this session. However, I mean, I don't have to be an expert to tell you that Google never said that they weren't going to collect it. Yeah. Or, sorry, Google never said they were still going to collect it. That's the thing. They did say they weren't going to collect it. That's the whole problem. They are a website. The judge rejected Google's request on the grounds that the warning did not adequately inform users that Google's data collection would continue even while in incognito mode. Because I, I got to be honest with you, on the surface of it, I would assume, based on the name of incognito mode, the stated purpose of incognito mode, and the messaging around incognito mode, that it actually stops Google from tracking yeah. exactly what it is that I'm doing and logging it anywhere. It feels like I, I've always known you're essentially just turning history off temporarily, but I think most people don't assume it just works that way. So, yeah, I don't know. Google's taking some big L's, man. Wait, did I say billions? Because I read that somewhere, but that appears to be... We don't know what the settlement is. Not in the notes. At least not at this time. No, yeah. no, no. Exact terms of the settlement are unknown at this time. So, scratch that. Um, I may be conflating two completely different things, but there is some kind of settlement, and we are hopefully going to figure that out at some point. The discussion question for us here is, is it reasonable to expect that a person using incognito mode would understand that Google's still tracking them? No. No, I don't think so. I mean, here, look. We can, we can play this game in real time. I can launch incognito mode, which, as far as I can tell, hasn't changed at any point in this process, and as far as I can tell, isn't going to change at all. And we can see right here exactly the way that Google continues to message this even after the settlement. Now you can browse privately. And here we go. Other people who use this device won't see your activity. Now, they do say, so they kind of imply that what this is doing is, to Luke's point earlier, just effectively turning off that local history on your computer. However, downloads, bookmarks, and reading list items will be saved. Learn more. Chrome won't save the following. Chrome won't save yeah. the following. Yeah. Your browsing history cookies and site data, information entered in forms. Chrome won't save. Your activity might still be visible too. The websites you visit, your employer or school, your internet service provider. And this is true unless you are, here in these cases, um, using a VPN or some other kind of tunneling or in data encrypting service. Um, and so... I guess what we see here is that from Google's point of view, it's maybe not a lie. Nothing here is a lie. Yeah. But, I, oh. I'm trying to find, no, I don't have anything. I'm trying to find like screenshots of the really old version. Um, but it certainly is uh, a mislead by omission. Um, you know, yeah. lie is a high bar to clear. Um, I feel, see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have an I statement here. I feel <gasps> that Google's intent was to mislead. I feel Google probably knew what they were doing and knew better. And I feel that this is pretty easily categorized as a lie. But the, you have to prove that. And I, 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 I don't... Uh, I don't think that's something that I can prove. That I can prove, and yeah, this is uh, this is a perfect example of a lie by omission. Says loud face Bob in the float plane chat. Yeah, exactly. If we could prove that it was a lie, I think it it would be a lie by by omission because they seemingly, I feel, lead us to believe that incognito mode prevents Google from tracking what you're doing. But all they said was Chrome. 
Oh, you meant all of our other products and services. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I mean, anyone who's really made their way down the internet privacy rabbit hole is going to know that even if incognito mode worked the way that people might have assumed that it worked based on that messaging, uh, there are so many ways that you and your device can be fingerprinted by the services and the websites that you visit. Everything from the, if you have an unusual resolution uh, on your phone, okay, and then you log into the same email account on a computer somewhere. Like, there, there's so many different ways that your devices can be tied to you and to each other. Um, so, for example, what is it? Um, and they don't actually need 100% data perfection. No. As long as they're pretty sure, they can still paint a picture that's extremely accurate. So because it, it's, it's very likely that if someone shares 95% of the commonality traits between you and them, that that fudged data where you got something attached from them to you or whatever else, it's probably accurate or close to it anyways. So like, yeah. So here's the question. Is it time to switch to Firefox? I wish, man. If you ask Firefox people, the time to switch to Firefox was years ago. Yeah. But for real though, for people like, uh, you daily drive Chrome still, I believe, right? Yeah. I try Firefox once a year. Wow. Okay. Floatplane chat has some thoughts yeah. on the whole switch to Firefox. Okay. We need a pull. We need a pull. Is it time to switch? And, and Firefox isn't the only option. Uh, I already mentioned Brave. I know there's some other... It's just Chromium. Well, it's just Chromium, but with some, with some spice. Um, yeah. Okay. Is it time to switch to Firefox? Yes. Whoop. Yes. No pretty cool it's open source yeah no brave brave seems to be legitimately not not stupid um people are talking about vivaldi vivaldi really hasn't seen the same kind of penetration that firefox being the only one that's not chromium still basically um so i'm gonna i'm gonna among the chromiums brave potentially throw some water on this fire um and the 70-ish percent of people that are saying it is time to switch to Firefox. Let's do a poll after this and see what browser people use. Uh, because... Well, we don't have to do a poll on 70 percent of Floatplane is not using Firefox. Ah, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, 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 he got to the punchline. Yeah. Um, what, so, what is the percentage? Do you know? Haven't checked in a while. I guarantee you it's not 70 percent using Firefox. Hmm. Where could, where else could we, where, oh, check me right now. Oh boy. Like, oh boy. Okay. Can you not form an overtly adversarial relationship with no, Floatplane? You know okay. what? Use Firefox. Here, here's, okay. I didn't have enough time to get into it. It doesn't feel like it's time to switch to Firefox yet. My reason Why? for that is because a lot of sites are not built to work on Firefox properly. Firefox has some of its own issues. Yeah, sure. So does Chrome. So does Edge. So does everything else. My problem is uh, the last time I tried to switch to Firefox was when I was uh, studying for Patty scuba diving stuff. That was a long time ago, though. That was just slightly over a year ago. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, you, you had your scuba cert before no, that? I was getting you? advanced certifications. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. initial one was a long no, time. No, I, yeah, yeah. Um, the Patty website just like doesn't work in Firefox at all. Yeah. And I like looked it up and it's a thing and it's just super not built for it, etc. So it's it's not really like it, it they did a bad job of making their website. Um that's kind of the issue. So I want more people to use Firefox. Even though it doesn't really feel like it's necessarily time yet for people to actually switch because if more people move to Firefox, then sites are going to have to be forced to build for better compatibility for Firefox. Because right now, the like easy way to build is just build for chrome and then whatever you're going to hit almost everybody anyways yeah i mean even edge is just chromium now so so like yeah um yeah aj aj could get me the percentages if he's around uh i don't know if he's around and i don't want to like bug him if he's not around yeah sorry i'm trying to, i'm trying to log into the forum because i think i can check i think i can check the forum one 
mm. but my stupid Chrome doesn't have my extensions <laughs> thing showing right now because it needs to relaunch for an update or something. At least I think that's the problem. Oh, you know what? It might just be that I'm on the wrong... It might just be that this is He's the one the with way. the wrong profile. Uh, We're not going to bug AJ, but I guarantee you it's not 70% of users. No uh, shot. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Throw up a browser pull. Um, so when's the, when's the last time you tried it then? Firefox? Yeah. That was it. So I'm due oh, to try okay. it again soon. Okay, okay. Well, maybe it is time then, and maybe you just don't know. I'll try it. I'll run it tonight. I'm not even... I'm not even playing. It's around time. I genuinely do it, like, once a year, generally. So, I'm down. All right. I want it to work really badly. My problem is, um... That I do so much of my work in a browser. And Using a lot of Google services. If it ends up being less efficient, I, I can't let my like personal, I would rather use Firefox because of various reasons, slow down my work, if that makes sense. Yeah. That doesn't line up for me. That makes sense. I mean, honestly, that's a big part of the reason that I stopped doing so many challenges. Yeah. Like I did the switch to Windows Phone way back in the day. Yeah. Uh, I did the switch to Mac OS way back in the day and like like daily drove these things for a very real period of time. Yeah. And I just, it got to the point where it was like, oh, I could do another switched thing, but I, I could just... Or I could just make videos about something else and that would be way more efficient. My, my thing is like, how would I, exp if I had to sit down in a meeting with you and you're like, huh, this took like a long time. Why did this take so long? And it's like, oh, because I wanted to use Firefox. Like, how do I explain? It, it, that's, that's like, it, that's like you work at the graveyard. Okay. And like, wow, they, they're like, really hey, wow, time. it sure took you a long time to dig that hole. Uh, why did you Why did you use a pickaxe instead of a shovel? Big and, shovel is just and you're just like yeah, very I, evil. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't want to support big the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> big shovel. And you know what? It sucks. That sucks. That that's the world we live in. There's no way, dude. People are lying. I guarantee people are it. lying. People are lying. Really? I, we talked earlier on this very show about how lie is an extremely high bar to clear. You're saying they're lying. I mean, unless unless very specifically... Wow, the, the poll just broke. Um, unless very specifically the, uh, the, the live WAN show audience is specifically skewed towards Firefox, which might be a thing. Maybe. Okay, so we're looking at 45% saying they're using Firefox. I don't know, guys. There was that big thing recently with, uh, you know, Chrome trying to block ad blockers and all that kind of stuff and people were yeah. Firefox. Maybe that increased the percentage. Maybe the live audience is particularly uh skewed towards firefox i'm surprised fewer aren't on brave I, brave must be one of those super loud minority ones i forgot brave i'm just doing another one with it oh no no i mean other but whatever they can vote for other only yeah. seven percent of people are in other so clearly it's not going to be a podium finisher did you anyway close that first poll i didn't know yeah i know i think it just broke i'm just gonna throw up another one everybody can fake this one too. i think people were a little enthusiastic about that probably one. Okay, sorry. I'm, I, I have spent this entire time trying to get logged into the forum because I love password managers and I love um, <laughs> and, I, and I love 2FA you, so uh, very much. You really shouldn't be logging into a password manager on that laptop. I, I never would. Oh, good. I would never log into a password manager on this laptop. That would be irresponsible. Opera GX is an interesting one because they spend a monstrous amount of money on advertising, and then yeah, isn't their whole thing that it's like the the, the, gaming, the gaming browser? browser. We did it. We did a whole video about it a while back, and as far as we could tell, there were a couple cool features, but not a ton that made it particularly gaming per se. Yeah. Um, the fact that there's theoretically twice as many people on Brave than there is on Opera GX is interesting. All right, here we go. I am hacking the mainframe. Uh, I believe from the forum admin dashboard, I can see 
the browser stats, but I don't actually know this. So, hey, good luck. Uh, forums assist online users by app. Does, does anyone does anyone use Envision Power and know how to <laughs> know how to check this? It's been uh, a long time. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, is there like uh, is there like here? Here's a. It's in there somewhere. Here's it. Yeah, exactly. I'm sh I'm sure it um. is, but I am sure I don't remember how to check. Oh, oh, we can check sales though. We can see how many people have bought By the, the Christmas, Christmas album? album. It's not that many this year. It's actually pretty low. Uh, yeah, there seems to be not a lot of action going on. I think we have a total of three sales this December. Yeah. Uh, oh, since June, we have three sales since June. <laughs> that's the right. That's the right number of people. Uh, activity users. Oh, oh, users maybe. Rank progression. I don't even know what it. What any of this device is. usage. How about device usage? Maybe it's in there. Man, I don't remember the last time that I logged into this. Firefox literally gets paid by Google. To me, that makes no difference between them. Rather use Edge and its great features. Really? Well, wow. that's a spicy take. That is a unique take. Okay. Um, we are predominantly a desktop community. I can tell you that much right now. It's not a very good experience on mobile. So <laughs> that's probably. Why. I use it on mobile all the time. What do you mean it's not a good experience? It's uh, fine. Uh, oh, uh, I think you're. What do you want? Tap a talk? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna start that debate I'm again. Surprised you even remember. <laughs> you you want to start that again? Because we'll, I'll go. Let's go. I'm ready to go. No, I'm happy we didn't do it. Yeah. No, I think no. The forums. The forum. The forum's great. Forum's great on mobile. I use it literally. I, I'm willing to bet if I open up my browser right now. Oh, ah, yeah, I see it. There it is. Boom, right there. It, it's awesome. Other than that, I always have this stupid <laughs> updates available thing. Um, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, man. No, nah, man. It's great. It runs great. It's not too bad. Online users, maybe? No, that's probably that's kind of probably just going to be people who are, who are online right now. Uh, does, does anyone know? I, I haven't actually been looking at the chat to see if anyone anyone knows you know what yeah i got device usage but i don't have i don't see anywhere to check what browser people are using so i'm afraid i'm afraid we're in the dark here maybe we can ask aj next week yeah to, to let us know what's going on over on the forum 